My name is Angela Dunlop. I am the network. Okay, so very warm welcome to all of you that have joined us here tonight. And I know it's um, we've kind of lost our summer on the way again this week. Um, so it's lovely, especially on a Saturday night, that so many of you have come out to be participating in this evening. Um, uh, there's a gentleman, and I can. And I just sense in my mind that he's, he's coming up and down this row with me, and I know that he's in a wheelchair. And I get a feeling with him that his, his body was slightly contorted, or was very much, because um, I, I feel like his hands was, uh, and he feels that he really couldn't speak. Um, so I know that he would have had difficulty speaking, difficulty with learning through his physical condition. I know that about him. Um, and I know too that he would have attended like a day car or a day support, um, one of these kind of places. So can anybody understand any of that so far? Yourself? Possibly. Anybody else? Did they not all, all understand some of it or all of it? Oh, okay. So I'll just work with the two of you here and see where else we're going. Would you understand this physical condition would have affected his hands? Because that's very important. Now, I'll tell you something. He's not old when he passed, because he's young. Do you understand that? That's okay. Um, but I get a feeling from him that people would have referred to him like the angel, because he was the most gentlest, easy goer, and he was such a lovely character, even though he couldn't express himself. Yeah. That's what I feel very strongly about him. Do you know, I feel more here, Marie, I'm going to be honest with you, because it just, and he said this too with him, that he showed me, um, even though doctors, and the medical staff that he was involved in, because he had been from a, a small child. He was, I think mean, there was periods in his life where he was in hospital, yes. you know, for months yes. at a time, and then he would have come out, yes. and then he had to go back. Yes. And he's talking about when he was in hospital, where these arms of his had to be broke and reset into place again. Yes. God bless him, but that's what he's saying to me. And it was only to try to help to strengthen his body. And he's also said to me that I used to go into like a hydro pool, and I had to go into like some sort of pool where they would have tried to help him with that. I so I know that they, they put him into a swimming pool to try to help his muscles, mm -hmm. but I know he was supported during that, because yeah. he says that the dead he would have sunk. <laughs> this is what he said to me. Um, and I get this feeling from him very much where he's taking me back to where nurses used to look after him, they used to come to his home. So would you understand where there would be memories of that? I remember it once or twice. Just. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I also sense, what is he doing? He wants to draw with me, he wants to draw. And he says that he would have tried a little bit of art. Yeah. And I know that there would be um, pictures that would be still here belonging to him. I think so, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. He's telling me that he is no longer in his wheelchair. Mm -hmm. He's telling me that he feels as free as a bird. And he feels very, very happy about that. Yes. That's what he's making me feel. Um, and he's saying to me too that he no longer has the hip problems that he would have had while he was living as well. So this, this younger man's body, all sorts of conditions, bodily conditions wrong with him. But now he feels fantastic yes. that he's, he's over there. And would you know please that if his mum would be spirit side? Yes. Because I'm just here and I'm with my mum now. Yes. And he's absolutely enthralled and enthralled about that. You see, yes. this is what I feel from him. <laughs> and, and I sense too, would you know if he had like blonde, kind of dirty fur colouring of her? Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and this is what I feel about him. And it would have been a little bit longish, just a little bit, because he said he could have done with a hair cut before yeah. the end. This is what he's laughing yeah. about. Yeah. Um, so I know that he would have took pride in his appearance. He liked to look good. <coughs> and he showed me that he would have made these kind of funny sounds to get um, his language across. So he wasn't able to yeah. speak like us, yeah. you see? Yeah. But yet I know that these sounds would have been no wonder the people that occurred for him. Yeah. That that was a yes, that was a no, that was a don't yeah. know. Does that make sense yeah. with you? Yeah. Um, and they show me, he's telling me here that he may not have been able to speak, but he was smart in his mind. Yeah. He knew very rightly what was going on, yeah. you see? Yeah. This is what he, and he says he fancied younger women. He fancied younger yeah. women. Yeah. This is what he said as well. And he says, but he couldn't get their hands on them. <laughs> And he just feels delighted now and much, much more freer, all right? Okay. So may I leave you with this younger man's love yes. and um, say thank you very much for working with me. All right? Yes.